Monster 4, stats apparently, the grumbling from my tummy was too big of a distraction for Luciana to focus, so we left the library, I didn't want to, but I also didn't want to make Luciana mad, and made our way down a long, long flight of stairs and down a corridor. I was feeling a bit lost. Also, a bit tired. I was hungry, and that pushed me on, but it felt like I had bricks hanging off of me. By the time we moved into a big dining room, I felt like I was about to collapse it Luciana said. She gestured to a seat in the middle of the room's long table. It was a long, long table, the length and width of a bus, with cushioned seats all around, and a small throne at the end. I pulled the seat she gestured to out, climbed onto it, then turned and scooted the chair forward with little hops. My toes could only just brush the floor. The dark goddess sat at the head of the table. That wasn't too surprising, really, it was her house after all. She placed her hands onto the table, then looked my way. While we wait for dinner, perhaps we can begin discussing classes. Sure. I said. Classes sounded neat. Did they level up and stuff? Give me a bunch of cool things. So far I'd gotten. I tried to think about which classes I'd gotten, and in so thinking, a list appeared before me. Current available classes, sleep a tar drowned prophet of chaos I've got three of them I said do avoid selecting any she said. I doubt any of the three are truly worth it. She tapped the table with her forefingers, then nodded as if to herself. I have never had to explain this from the beginning before. Most people with whom I have spoken have been given at least a basic education. I know how to read I said. I was pretty sure I knew how. And write, and I can do math. Some math home, yes, but that isn't what I meant. Your education in the matter of classes and the like is severely lacking. I suppose I should start from the top. She shifted back in her throne, one arm falling onto the armrest with easy grace. Most people believe that the system works in fives. Fives. I repeated yes. Five classes that you can obtain. Five skills obtained on each fifth level, with no more than five stages available. A simple pattern, and one that's visible throughout the system. You said that most people believe that. Are they right? No she said oh. Um. What's the right answer then? I asked. She smiled, but it was a smile with a lot of teeth and little humor. As with most things, the truth is far more complex and nuanced than most believe, and yet not as complex as you might think. For your personal knowledge, the common understanding will be sufficient. But now I know that it's wrong, I said. She gestured, a dismissive wave of her hand. Then figure out the truth yourself. The first step was given to you already. Do so on your own time though. Okay I said dot I would have asked another question, but a door at the far end of the room opened and from it came a trio of monsters. Small ones that felt, weak. No, not weak, but they didn't have the presence that the other monsters I'd seen had, and even those monsters failed to fill the room half as well as Luciana dot, Mew servant of the dark god, bane of hunger I waved to one of the monsters. It was a big tall rat looking thing with sharp eyes and sharper fur, like little black needles. It stood on its hind legs and carried a tray tucked against its neck with two silver domes on it. Luciana was served first, then the monster placed a dome before me and lifted it up to reveal, soup. In a pale porcelain bowl. It looked kind of purplish, and smelled like carrots. I picked up the silvery spoon next to the bowl, then glanced at the dark goddess. She was looking my way. I held back until she dipped her own spoon in and took a tiny bit of soup before digging in. This is great. I said I would certainly hope so, she said. Now, to continue the lesson. Right, I said. I can eat and listen. How impressive, she said. Classes are unlocked by accomplishing things. The more something is natural to a person, the more likely it is they'll obtain a class related to that thing. Like what? I asked. Dot, congratulations. Through your actions, you have unlocked the potential to obtain the following classes, Eto, oh, like that. Indeed, she replied. On accepting a class, very little happens. 
it's only after some time practicing with the tasks and abilities central to that class that it will eventually evolve. Like a level up. I suppose. Each class progress grants more skills, and more power. Five skills are obtained at each milestone, but only one may be chosen at a time. At a time. I asked. I considered that for a bit. Does that mean you can pick them at different times? She nodded. Yes. It does. Swapping a skill locks the new skill in place for a number of days equivalent to the rank of the skill. It will become simpler to understand once you've reached that point. Cool I said. So, if I want a really good class, I need to do something really cool, right? Ideally, you will want five powerful classes that all synergize. Don't you need a class to be at max to get another? I asked. Or something like that. No, of course not she said. You could pick every class you have available now, if you wished. It would greatly stunt your progress, but it could be done. Oh I said. That was, a lot. That sounded really flexible, depending on how strong a class was. And you can only have five classes. I asked such is the common belief, yes. I narrowed my eyes. So you can have more. Perhaps work on obtaining mastery of five first, she asked. Dot I nodded. That was probably fair. It wouldn't do to be too greedy. Just, a little greedy. I finished up my soup just as Luciana set hers aside. It was really, really good, and that wasn't just the hungry talking. The serving monster took my bowl away, and another took Luciana's just as more creatures stepped in and quietly placed more plates before us. I looked at the steak before me. It was about the size of my splayed hand, and lightly seared, with some spice atop it, and a few leaves on the side. I shrugged and cut into it, the meat coming apart with just a twist of the fork. Em. I said. This is great. I see no point in not eating well Luciana said. I once ignored food as a source of pleasure, rather focusing on my art, but I have since decided not to act that way. I'm glad you changed your mind I said. This is yum. Yes, I'm sure she replied. Do you have any questions? About classes? I asked. So many. She raised an eyebrow, and I sensed that she wanted me to go on oh, no, a. Uh. Can you get rid of a class? Yes she said. It's something some unscrupulous people will use to maintain power in certain places. It must be done somewhat willingly. And you may do so to yourself, though only with difficulty. Do you need a magic class to do magic? I asked. She shook her head. No. Magic comes from within, and in a way, the system is an outside force. What's the best class? I asked. Luciana tilted her head to the side. A childish question that is surprisingly profound. I suppose the correct reply would be to say that the class that best suits the user is the best, or perhaps the class best suited to a given goal is the best at that. None are able to do everything. So there is no best class. I asked that would be the correct answer. The truth is that few classes are made equal. Some are always superior to others. There is a reason why the farmer god isn't feared. They're weak. Luciana shrugged. What can he do? Grow turnips at you. I giggled, the image of an old man flinging seeds at Luciana too much to hold in. So, if I want a really strong class, what should I do? I asked once the giggle fit was passed. The dark goddess smiled, a small one, one that actually reached her eyes, if only a little. Why, Valeria the Brave, perhaps you need only ask me to assist you. Asterisk asterisk asterisk. asterisk.